greetings from filter concept. With the increase in fuel consumption, production, as well as the extraction of crude oil have increased tremendously. As a result, the global demand for energy has grown exponentially. This surge has had a ripple effect on the entire global economy. This, in turn, has led to a rapid rise in global demand for oil and its byproducts. The oil and gas industry operation are highly sophisticated and require significant environments. The other components used in various other processes for crude oil synthesis are of equal importance. Petroleum industry relies heavily on hydrogen, as crude oil itself is a mixture of hydrocarbons. The hydrogen to carbon ratio is used for the characterization of hydrocarbon fuel. A fuel with a higher hydrogen to carbon ratio has a higher net heating value. The refineries, after the separation process, sends different fraction obtained from various stages of fractionation for upgradation process such as fluid cracking, vis breaking, hydro cracking, etc. The upgradation of oil is done using two methodologies such as carbon rejection and hydrogen addition. The methods such as coking, catalytic cracking, vis breaking, etc. comes under the carbon rejection methodology. Whereas, hydro cracking, hydrogenation, etc. are hydrogen addition processes. The aim for the upgradation of oil is to convert heavy oil into light products with high hydrogen to carbon ratio. Hydrogenation is also one such oil upgradation process. Let's get into depth of the hydrogenation process, its challenges and solution to these processes. In the process of hydrogenation, unsaturated hydrocarbons are added with hydrogen in order to stabilize them. This leads to the reduction of aromatic compounds in petroleum products. A particular application of hydrogenation is to saturate unstable olefins and diolefins that are involved in producing gums while fuels are stored, such as gasoline and jet fuel. A hydrogenation process involves adding hydrogen to unsaturated hydrocarbons using a catalyst made of precious metals such as platinum, palladium, or nickel at low temperatures in order to prevent cracking or other chemical changes from occurring. The catalysts used in the process are valuable. In the process, the feedstock, unsaturated hydrocarbons, are heated and passed with hydrogen gas through a reactor filled with catalyst pellets. The precise parameters depend on the nature of the feedstock, the particular process, and the degree of hydrogenation required. After leaving the reactor, excess hydrogen is separated from the product gas stream, treated for removal of any hydrogen sulfide, and recycled through into reactor. The liquid product is passed into a tower where steam removes dissolved hydrogen and hydrogen sulfide, and after cooling the stabilized product is sent to the next processing unit. If the fuel is not passed from the hydrogenation process, there can be partial or complete plugging of narrow passages within fuel injectors as a result of gum deposition or accumulation on flow surfaces causing engine failures. For avoiding any operational problems caused due to unsaturated hydrocarbons, crude oil must go through the oil upgradation process. The functional constraints such as catalyst poisoning, tray fouling, erosion of the internal components of the reactors, etc. For maintaining the efficiency of the hydrogenation process, an optimal filtration should be assimilated to overcome these constraints. Filter concept ensures that the filtration system enhances the performance of the process application. Our custom-made filtration solutions are designed to maximize efficiency and provide superior performance, enabling customers to meet their expectations and achieve their desired outcomes. Get in touch with us at inquiry at the ratefilter-concept.com or engg at the ratefilter-concept.com to get your queries resolved. We value your opinion and look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.